Glenn Ross here for KFON TV. I'm standing on the Pacific Electric Trail here in the city of Fontana. It's all part of a community event called Let's Move on the Trail. We're showcasing three different areas of physical activity. Those three areas being running, walking, and cycling. You know, when it comes to fitness in the city of Fontana, no one matches the Inland Empire Derby Divas. I swear, these girls study hard, they train hard. <laughs> Once again, world-famous dancer and producer Fatim brings to the Center Stage Theater an amazing array of talent. Get ready for Oasis Dance Magic 2014. Oasis Dance Magic is a night of diverse cultural entertainment, singing, dancing, and music from all over the world. Jared is what you would call an aerosol artist. So impressed with Jared's work, Fontana's Art Depot Gallery recruited him for the 2013 Fontana Arts Festival. Uh, we came across his YouTube video of him actually doing the process of his artwork. We thought it was really interesting, it was something that we hadn't seen before and we thought that it would be a good addition to the Fontana Arts Festival. It was a special day for good food in the city of Fontana. On October 17, 2014, the Fontana Chamber of Commerce welcomed Bella Italia to the neighborhood. It's a family-run business. Meet the Mele family, Frank, his daughter Maria, son Pino, and wife Rina. I put on my love and the food. We, uh, we are very, very excited about having another business here in town. Especially a business that serves food like this. And we're going to help you fill this restaurant up. We're going to make sure we get the word out because Fontana is open for business. I'm very excited. We keep getting these great restaurants. Very good food and we wish him the best of luck here in Fontana. Welcome to Kung Fu San Su. This 5,000-year-old form of martial arts is taught here at the Cypress Neighborhood Center in the city of Fontana. It's all under the direction of first-degree black belt and instructor Frank Guerrero. This style here is basically a uh, um, self-defense style, uh, street fighting. Uh, more likely it's about uh, defending yourself, uh, protecting yourself out in the street. It's not every day these Fontana students are greeted by walking peas and carrots in the school cafeteria, but this is no ordinary day. It's officially the first day for Citrus Elementary School's salad program. Our vision is to roll out a salad bar at each elementary school, and our goal is to do it in the next couple of, couple of years. That's Ksenia, or KK as they call her. When she's not dressed as a vegetable, along with intern Amanda Vidal, she's a nutrition specialist and dietitian for the Fontana Unified School District. Uh, the founding father of this program actually is Rodney Taylor, and uh, he started this program in Santa Monica a while back, and it just kind of gained popularity, and now First Lady Michelle Obama is encouraging it, and we're kind of getting on with the program. Kids love it, we love it, it's, it's just overall an amazing program. Well, there's no doubt about it, this program encourages youth to eat healthy, and hopefully that's something they take with them as they grow into adults. Now, orange you glad you showed up for this story? <laughs> From Citrus Elementary School, this is Glenn Ross reporting. Thank <laughs> you.